This is Audio Stories of the Paranormal with J.B. Simeon, and here is today's paranormal experience from Karen King of New Orleans, Louisiana, called My Summer Paranormal Vacation. Okay, listeners, let's learn something. I spent the summer between the 10th and 11th grade at my grandmother's house in upstate Michigan. It was my first visit to her house. Usually, she would visit us wherever we were in the world. When I was much younger, we all lived in that house with my grandmother, but I was in diapers then, and I don't remember anything about it. So on the day of my arrival, I felt as though I was seeing her house for the first time. I was impressed by the grandeur of the enormous old Victorian mansion. At that time, I lived in a much smaller house with my mother and stepfather on a military base in Germany. Grandmother's house looked like a something out of a movie. It was in the middle of nowhere on a big lake and had several acres of land that was covered in evergreen trees. About 100 yards from the side of her house was our private family cemetery. The last time that I had come to this house, we had buried my father there. He had been killed in the Korean War. Again, I didn't remember any of this because I was in diapers then. The first day, grandmother and I kneeled at my dad's grave and said a silent prayer. I felt strange when she started crying. I felt that she expected me to cry too. But she knew Daddy as a living person. I only knew him from photographs and other people's memories. I tried, but I could never cry for him. He was a stranger to me. We went to bed about 11 p.m. I was restless. I couldn't get to sleep. It takes a while for me to adjust to sleeping in a new place. About midnight, bored, I decided to go exploring. I ended up in my father's room. Grandmother had not changed anything. It looked like he had just left the room a few minutes ago. I was standing in the dark looking out the window. I could see our family cemetery illuminated by the moonlight. I remember feeling very sad. I felt that a part of me was missing and I would never have it again. I turned my back to the window and faced the interior of the room. Suddenly, in a flash, it was daylight. My father was alive. He was pacing the floor holding a baby in his arms. He swayed and he sang to the child, but I couldn't hear any sound. I was watching a silent movie in living color. Then, a wave of emotion washed over me. I was inside that baby. It was me that he was holding. As he held me, I reached out my hand and touched his face. I could feel it. I could see his eyes and smell his breath. Then suddenly, as it had turned to day, The night resumed. I was alone in his room, standing with my back to the window. Tears were flowing from my eyes down my face. I was hysterically screaming, Grandma, I remember him. I remember him. Thank you, Karen, for sharing your touching paranormal experience. Okay, listeners, it's your turn. Please share your original paranormal experience with the community. The email address is mystory at theaudiostories.com. Again, that's mystory at theaudiostories.com. Now, you can self-narrate your experience, then email it to me, or you can send me your written story and I will narrate it. Then, expect to hear your experience 
on an upcoming episode. Thank you and take care.